look so peaceful from up here. It always does. But it never is. I know, Icarus. I'm tired too. I've met so many people. Archons, kings, and now Isu. They're all the same. Go do this. Bring me that. Go kill him. I don't know if I can do this anymore. If I were ruler, things would be much, much different. What's that, Icarus? A speech from your new ruler. <clears throat> you, bring the food. You, bring the wine. For tonight, we feast until our bellies are as round as the moon. That sounded good. I don't have wine, but if I brought you some bread, would you help me? You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the Dicastis' speech. <sighs> it was more of a fantasy, really. Call me Alexios. I thought it was wonderful, Dicastis Alexios. <laughs> Just Alexios is fine. And what's your name? Alcon. You're even more special than all the bedtime stories my... Parents used to tell me. What's wrong? My parents are missing. They left for their assignments, but they never came home. The Isu won't help me. But then I remembered the story of you helping a lost girl in the underworld who found her parents in Elysium. So I came to you. Her name was Phoebe. We were good friends. She's in a better place now than when I found her. She was lucky to have a friend like you. I could always make a new friend. Maybe you, Alcon. And I could help you. Would you like that? More than anything. You said your parents never came home. If you could tell me where they're assigned and what their names are, it would be very helpful. Mata's name is Rene. She's assigned to the harbor. Pater is called Damadis, and he's assigned to the Adamant Quarry. You're very brave. Now go home where it's safe. I'll go talk to the harbor master and whoever is in charge of the quarry. I'll come find you once I have some answers. 